Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. It is um, Saturday, September 10th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live on YouTube. So if you are here on Saturday night at 7, you're with the live group. If you're watching at a different time, then you will be on the replay. And it should say like a little live red button, I think, in your on your screen if you're live. Um, how's everybody doing tonight? It is, it was gorgeous again today. We're having some really, really nice weather here in Chesapeake, Virginia. Hello, everybody. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Carla. Hey, Colette. Hey, another Deborah. Hey, Antoinette. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Spice Girl. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Denise. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Judy. Hey, Dana. Looks like everybody's getting on here. Yay. I was worried at first because I, when I started the, um, well, before I press live, I set it up, you know, about, um, usually about seven or eight minutes before seven o'clock. And, uh, for like the longest time, there was only one person on and I'm like, dang, what's going on? Nobody's coming on. And I guess there was a lag or something because it went from like one to 12 <laughs> in like one second. And then everybody started popping on, so I was getting worried for a minute. I was like, everybody forgot it's date night with Lisa. So good. we got lots of people joining. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I did some yard work today, a lot of yard work. I was in the yard for about three or four hours and mowed the grass and did edging and weeding and all that junk. Hey, Mary. I got your check in the mail today. And I got some happy mail. Hey, Beth. How is everybody? Hey, Sandy. Hey, Judith. Yay. Judith finally made a live one. Just finished watching football. Wisconsin Badgers. I've never heard of them. Is that like a local team? I don't think I've ever heard of Wisconsin Badgers. <laughs> Maybe it's college. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Saturday is usually college football, I think. And then Sunday is regular football. But I don't think football season has started, has it? I don't know. I don't watch football, so I don't know. My my TV pretty much stays on either Hallmark Channel, Christian Music, or um, Netflix. And I watch a movie or something like that, or Amazon Prime. So I don't really watch much TV, um, except when I'm cutting paper and stuff. And I don't watch anything that's going to bring me down. It's got to be something totally, like, uplifting and feel good and sometimes I'll watch like suspense kind of movies but usually it's always like chick flicks and stuff oh Kathy went apple picking and made eight loaves of zucchini bread yum oh you were watching Wisconsin Badger call oh it is college football I have never heard of Wisconsin Badger okay oh everybody loves football except me <laughs> Oh, Debbie Spicer. It is Spice Girl's birthday. So everybody say happy birthday to Spice Girl. Happy birthday. I posted on your Facebook page today. I love Hallmark movies too. So this is the card we're making tonight. It's using, um, I just got this set yesterday. So I wanted to use it. It's one of the sets that's in the um, Perfect Partner special that's going on this month. So you can get the dies right now until... While supplies last, it's for the whole month, but if supplies run out, then they run out. So um, you can't get it after they're gone. So the, the dyes are only available while supplies last. So I got mine right away. I, I didn't buy the stamp set at first, but then when the dyes were available, I'm like, okay. Because um, I really wanted some dyes with it. So this is what it looks like. And hopefully you can see some shimmer on there. I did Wink of Stella right here. And on the flowers, I didn't do that flower, but I did that flower and that flower. So hopefully you can see the shimmer on it. And then I spritzed it with the shimmer spray. And then I created this background using one of the dyes that we have that I also just got yesterday. So um, there is a stencil, a mask that we have that's pretty similar to this, I think, but I got this dye and I've been waiting and waiting, waiting because it was sold out and I finally just got it and I was like, oh, I bet that would make a pretty stencil. So I did it as a stencil and I think it came out really pretty. 
And I meant for it to be kind of like halfway there. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So, oh my goodness, look at all these happy birthdays for Debbie. Holy cow, girl. You have got a lot of happy birthdays on here. Did you get anything good for your birthday? Any exciting things? Um, okay, good. Oh, somebody said it's blurry, but then somebody else said not blurry. So hopefully you guys can see me and hear me really good. So this is the stamp set. And it comes with the dies right now for um, the bundle price. You can get 10% off. And I love, one thing I love about these dies is they come with lots of multiple pieces. So you get four flowers. You can all pop out at the same time. You get a whole bunch of leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine leaves that you can pop out at the same time. Also, I just realized it has this little scallopy edge in there, which I didn't even notice until just this minute. Um, so I used one of the dies that's not on here. And you know, I like to do surgery on my stamps. So I always trim my stamps down to like right up against the edge because I don't like to get, see how this one, I haven't trimmed this one yet. See how this stamp has all this extra rubber around it and the words are kind of hard to trim if they're this small but I would just go right up here along it because I don't like having these rubber the all that extra rubber because then you get edges if you're not really really careful and go straight up straight down on your paper so that's why I just trimmed mine up so there's the dies there's the stamp set and here's what I made the stencil with so it's this new die that's what it looks like. You get this one and this one. It's called Split Card Textures Dies. And it's been sold out for a while and it just came back in. So I got this and it makes the coolest card. So I'm going to be playing with this a lot, I think. But I made a stencil out of this. So I took a piece of white cardstock. And this is five and a quarter by four. And then I just put it on here like that and just popped it out has all these little squares that will pop out. And um, so that's how I made the stencil with this one. So love, love, love this die. And I can't wait to play with it. So you'll be seeing a lot more of that one. And if you don't have it, you're gonna have to get it because it's so cool to put background paper um, in. So if you have some background paper, which of course I don't have any. Let me see if I got some. A card or something oh here we go we'll use this so let's say this is your card right here so you can put that on the front and see how your card will show through so if you have designer paper it'll show through that and be really pretty so um, that's what I'll do with it later but I used it to, to create this background here so we're gonna do that in just a minute so you need that and then um, oh I got happy mail today let me read some comments. Hold on. Let's see. Way to spend my birthday, then Craig's. <laughs> There's a Shimmerettes Cafe. <laughs> Is there really, or are you just making that up? <laughs> hey, Nicole. Yes, you made the live. Yay. Can't you ask Stampin' Up to do a better job of trimming the stamps? Well, I don't know if you guys have ever seen how they make the stamps, but I have been to the Stampin' Up uh, factory in Riverton where they make the stamps. And what they do is they have a whole sheet of rubber and then they have like a die cut and they put it on the rubber and create the stamp set. Well, actually it's, it's, they create the stamp set, then they die cut it. And they have to have a little bit of wiggle room because like when they put it in the machine to die cut it, um, if it was, if there was not enough room, they would probably butcher a bunch of stamps. So, um, I just trim mine. You know, back in the day when I first started, all you got was a sheet of rubber. You had to like cut out all your stamps. So, I'm used to cutting them out. I mean, we used to get just like a circle with an apple in the middle and you just had to trim the whole thing because it was, that's how it was. <laughs> so, I don't mind doing it. But... Um, let's see. Glad they're back in stock. Yes. 
I tried to order them for a while. Oh, Sandy, you just got these dies too. All right, Debbie is feeling the love. Spice Girl's feeling love. Yeah, yeah, Nicole says, yeah, we used to have to trim the images. <laughs> I still have those scissors and I have the exact same scissors I bought 20 some years ago and they are still just as sharp and I cut all my stamps with them. They are the best scissors ever. They're Stampin' Up's craft and rubber scissors. All right, so I got happy, ma happy mail today. So I got this card from Sue Zastro, and it's using the texture chic paper. And I thought this was really cute. She sent a nice little card. I mean, nice little note in there. So I thought that was really cute. And then I got this gorgeous one, which is a napkin card from Luann Peterson. So it's a slimline card and she used um, the napkin technique and I can't remember if she told me, I know she told me, what she did with this napkin to make it all shiny and I can't remember what it was. I'll have to ask again because I know she told me. I can't remember some kind of coating she put on there to make it all shiny like that. But it's really, really pretty. So I love it. Love it. Love it. Thank you girls so much for the happy mail. I love, love, love getting cards in the mail. Don't forget, if you place an order using the host code from now through the 15th, if it's over $50, you'll get your card kit to make three of these. And um, I'll send you all the supplies. You just need the stamps and the ink and your adhesive. You get everything else from me. And if your order's over $100, you'll get your card kit for the three cards plus this pack of gems. They're so beautiful. Love, love, love these. And they're um, self-adhesive. And here's this sheet with the Perfect Partner Special. My ink, I don't know what's going on because I have all, I checked my ink in my printer and all of them are almost full. So I don't know why everything is coming out. I think it's the red that's not working right. But everything's coming out yellow and blue and green. So this is the Apple Blossoms die that is available right now. So you can get the bundle for $53. And then there are six total dies and all of these are on the Stampin' Up! website. So if you just go to my website and click on the shopping button or go to the Stampin' Up! website, um, all of the specials are on there. And there's also the weekly sale specials that you can check out there too. All right, so let's get started. Enough jibber jabbing. So this is what you need, not too much. A five and a half by eight and a half blushing bride. Two pieces of five and a quarter by four white. A piece of two and three quarters by four granny apple green. A piece of two and a half by three and three quarters approximately of the white scalloped, um, the dyes, the scalloped dyes, scalloped contour dyes. Um, the one that's that approximately two and a half by three and three quarters. And then a little flower from our apple blossoms dye. And then you need some scrap white also, because we're gonna need to stamp our, and I don't even know what I just did with my white scrap piece of paper. Uh-oh. Well, huh. That is weird. I know I had it here somewhere. Well, we're just gonna have to um, wing it. <laughs> Cause I don't know where to do with my extra piece of white paper. I guess, I know I put it in the box. That's so weird. Oops. I just dropped my take your pick tool. Well, hmm. I already stamped it on another piece of paper, so we'll just stamp, use that one. All right, so, oops, let me put the picture in here, the card in here. So get a screenshot of that. We'll put that right there. Um, and then we'll get started. Let me slide this over. Um, let's see. Oh, Judith says she remembers trimming the stamps. Ugh, I hated trimming. Yes. I don't mind it. I just do it while I'm watching TV or something. Um, oh, Colette's birthday is Monday. You still give some red rubber stamps haircuts. Yes, that's what I was talking about. That's what I do too. Um, let's see. Oh, Judith says, I think the best gift for your birthday is that you're here to celebrate it. Sending smiles. Oh, that's so sweet. 
Almost missed Saturday night, Nancy says. <laughs> you guys are also nice. All right, so. All right, let's get started. So let's take these off. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess because I've already um, stamped one. We'll just use the one I already stamped. But that is so strange because I know I put a piece of scrap paper in this box. I don't know where it went though. Very strange. Oh well. All right, so we've got our two pieces here. One is for the front, which we're gonna use first. And the other one is for the inside of the card. So we'll do the one with the um, sponging first. So I just made my template um, by cutting that out with the die. And then I've got my um, post-it tape or post-it um, sticky post-its and somebody asked about these if you look in the description box below the video you'll see the link on Amazon to get these super sticky post-it notes that are all the way sticky on the whole thing not just the top edge so line it up so both of these pieces are five and a quarter by four and then I'm gonna get some scrap paper and we're gonna use blushing bride to color this with so we're just gonna ink this up and then tap off and then we're just gonna sponge and just give it a good color and if you miss some spots it's no big deal and I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge because I don't want to get that edge on there I just am gonna go like um, to about here okay so that's why we're gonna have that gap in the middle all right so if, then if you look at it it's kind of light, so I'm going to do a little bit more up at the top. All right, so then if we check it, oh, that looks pretty good. All right, so then we're going to take this off, and we're going to turn it around. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. <laughs> turn that paper around. All right, so there's the one. We turned it around, so now we've got it on the other end. All right, we're gonna do the same thing here. So right now I've got it um, sponged right there. So now I'm gonna sponge the other side. So we're gonna do right here. So it doesn't matter if it lines up or not because we're gonna have that white space in the middle and it won't matter. But there, are, there is a mask that's very similar. So if you don't have this dye, the masks are available and I think they are like $10 or $8 or something for like five different ones. All right, and that's a little bit light, so I'm gonna keep going. And you could make this, I just made this out of white cardstock, but you could make it out of um, something a little heavier so it'll last a lot longer. All right, let's see how that looks. Uh-oh, I got a little smudge there. All right, so I think that looks good, but see, we've got that middle part that's white, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. All right, so there we go. So I'm done with my template. All right, so we're done with, well, no, we're not. Let's go ahead and stamp the inside. So for the inside, I've got my apple. And this is Memento Black. And we're just going to ink up this apple and stamp it right here on the inside. And then also we're gonna stamp our words in the same memento black. And I just picked up, um, this one's in the stamp set, thanks for your kindness. You could use anything you want, birthday, whatever. You can leave it blank and stamp it when you need it, it doesn't matter. I kind of like just doing the words later because it seems like every time I need a birthday or thank you or whatever, I look through all my cards and I can never find the one that I need. And it's like, man, I wish I had some blank ones to, um, you know, just stamp some words in real quick. All right, so this one, I forgot my scrap paper evidently. So what we're gonna have to do is use the one that I already stamped here. So we're just gonna pretend like I, I'm inking it up in the black memento, stamp it, and there we go, it's already done for us. And then, oh, I forgot to sponge this real quick. So I'm just gonna take the same 
um, blending brush and just put a little bit of pink on this. Just really light. Guess what else I forgot? I forgot a joke. Cause I, well, I worked in the yard until like, I don't know, 12 or so. And then I talked to my sister for like an hour on the phone today. So by the time I took a shower and ate some lunch and did all that, it was like two o'clock. And then I called my daughter and it was like three o'clock. <laughs> and I'm like, I gotta come up with a project because I was running way behind. So I didn't finish this card till about 30 minutes ago. And um, I'm like, okay, I don't have time to do anything else. All right, so we're gonna color that in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside the card. So that's the inside of our card. And you could, if you wanted to, color the leaves or something. I just gave it a little bit of splash of color. And I think that looks cute like that. So we're gonna put this on with some green glue. And stick that down. Just like that. And then if you want to, you could go ahead and put on this piece right here on the front. Doesn't really matter which way you put it. Um, can go either way, it looks about the same either way. And then we're gonna do some coloring. And I love the colors in this. You know, when I first started messing with this today, I was going to do it, you know, the traditional like red and green, but I started coloring it and I'm like, I really don't like this in red. And so I went on YouTube and looked and I found a card um, by Leanne Gruff and hers was the same colors. And I was like, oh, I love those colors for this apple. So Leanne, thank you for the color combination. I co copied yours exactly pretty much. So um, we'll set that aside for a minute. Oh, we've got to also stamp this piece right here. So this one, I, this is the scalloped contours die. I stamped that in uh, Sahara sand. And we're using, this piece comes in the stamp set. It's just like a little background stamp. So what I did was I inked it up and then I stamped it off because I didn't want it that dark. And then I put some of these like on, on this piece right here. So just do a few, but make sure you stamp it off each time because you don't want it dark. And let's do one more. Just make sure you stamp it off. So there you go, you've got a little bit of that background thing going on. All right, so now for the coloring. And I know, you guys know, I am not a great colorer, but Oh, I gotta sponge one more thing real quick. The flower, which, uh-oh, I think I lost my flower. Okay, I'm losing everything today. I know it was just here. I can hear my chair squeaking. Where did that flower go? All right, hold on. I think I have another one. Yes, I do. But this one's already sponged. So what I did was I just took this and I took the blending brush and I just tapped all over it. I don't know where the one I just had was, the white one. I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing everything tonight. But I just took the brush and I just went like that all over it to get it some Blushing Bride color on there. So good thing I brought extras of everything. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put a piece of scrap paper under here and you can see this was supposed to be hiding in my box. This is the one I already colored and cut out. So we're just gonna color. So I've got a bunch of stamping blends and I've also got a Wink of Stella pen. So we're gonna start with crumb cake. So this is dark crumb cake and this is for the um, stem. So we're just gonna color this in. And I like using the thin tip because if you use the brush tip and you're trying to get this little skinny area, you're more likely to go out of the lines. So it's easier with the skinny tip. So there you go. 
So that was easy. So that was dark crumb cake. Sometimes these are hard to close. Um, oh, let me read a bunch of comments. You guys are commenting like crazy tonight. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Um, dang, I can't even find where I finished reading the last one. <laughs> you guys have had so many comments on here tonight. Let's see. Um, oh, thanks, Linda. She says she likes the masking. I guess I'm missing this conversation. I don't know. You guys are all talking amongst yourselves, so I'm in the middle of looking at a conversation. Rochelle says, my husband asked me if I was done buying Stampin' Up! for a while. Ha ha. And I said, no, I still need a few things. That's me. Um, Melanie got a box of goodies today. Oh, Audrey, you're going to Germany tomorrow. Fun. That would be fun. I'd love to go to Germany sometimes. Uh-oh. Judith has to go eat dinner. Darn. <laughs> Debbie Spicer says, Rochelle, we'll have to be thrown in jail and the key thrown away to possibly stop us from buying Stampin' Up. Yep. Hey, Enika. My mom is doing much better. So they found out she has um, diverticulosis, um, which I guess is basically the same as diverticulitis, but the diverticulitis is a flare-up of diverticulosis. So they said that's one problem, and they're running some other tests and stuff to see if there's anything else going on, but um, I think she'll be fine. She's just going to have to be careful what she eats. Um, life is good at Enica. Um, I don't know what this is conversation is. <laughs> what is wobblers? S says, I got wobblers round acrylic block. I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe it's some kind of acrylic block. Oh, Enoch is going to France. Gosh, you guys are going to have some fun. Wish I was going on a trip. I'm stuck at work because, uh, you know, I got all these people that keep calling in sick. So, all right. So next thing we're going to color is, let's do the leaves. So the leaves I did in, I had a problem because of my light granny apple green. Oh, there's a, <laughs> there's a gnat. <laughs> did y'all see that? <laughs> that was quick thinking. Um, Oh, wobblers are a spring-like thing. Yeah, I've seen those to make the card wobble on your thing. Like if you have a snowman and you put it underneath it. Um, yeah, no popcorn with diverticulitis. That's true. Yeah, I've seen those warbler things. Those are cute. Or wobbler things. They're cute. All right, so I got Granny Apple light and dark, but my light one was like, never seen this happen. I pulled the lid off. And this part came out and it was like a piece of, um, I look like a straw almost inside this. So this came completely off and there was like a straw with ink or something in it that was all dried up. And I was like, well, I guess I won't be using that one. So I've never had that happen. And I have like a million of these. I probably have, I don't know, at least a hundred because some of them I have three or four of. So um, let me use the fat tip. All right, so we're just going to color this with the dark grainy apple. I would be using light and dark grainy green, but, or grainy green, <laughs> grainy apple <laughs> green. But I'm going to take the um, color lifter and make it a little bit lighter. So we'll kind of get the same effect because my other green is messed up. All right, then we're going to be using light petal pink, and I'm going to color this right here all in the light petal pink. Don't you think this right here looks like a person's nose? 
when I was coloring it, I looked at it, I said, that looks just like a nose to me, like, a no you know, your nostrils. I thought it was so funny looking. And this will dry lighter, but I'm also going to use the color lifter on that too. And I did this a little bit just to kind of mix with the pink so they would kind of, kind of color coordinate a little bit. This was the one I messed up, so that's my icky one. So don't don't look at that one. <laughs> I started coloring with this, the um, blender pen, and I didn't like it. And I was like, I don't like that one. So I did it over again. All right, and then I took, this is dark petal pink. And I just kind of went around the edges and made it a little bit darker. And also around here. And then I'm also going to take that, um, another pink, Flirty Flamingo, and kind of do that in there too. So this is Light Flirty Flamingo. And we're going to take that and color the flowers with it. And also color around the edge of the inside of the apple. So I'm just going to go like right here and kind of over top of that one I just did. And just give it a little bit more of pink. Because petal pink, even though it says pink, really looks kind of like um, peachy to me instead of pinky. So I don't know. All right, and then I'm going to go back with this as the light petal pink. And I'm going to go back over and just kind of blend that in a little bit. Just to lighten it. And then we're going to take the color lifter on that in a minute. All right, so guess what other colors I've got here? I've got Parakeet Party Light and Dark. And this was um, Leanne's colors. I was like, oh, I haven't even used the Parakeet Party yet. This is the first time I'm using this color. So I think it came out really good, though. All right, so I did the Light Parakeet Party first on the whole apple. And then I'm gonna go back with the darker one. And then I kind of did in here a little bit. And then I went back with the um, dark pear keep party and colored. And this is like a true, look at that green. That's like really green. Cause this one is more yellowy, but the dark one is more green. So just kind of color on the edges with that. And then also in here. Some, oops, there we go. All right, so we're gonna color most of that. And then I'm gonna take the color lifter, and just lift off some of the color on here. So I'm gonna make these flowers a little bit lighter. And then I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. And then I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter. I love the color lifter, it's like my favorite thing. And then make these leaves a little bit lighter too. So it's just taking some color off of it. So it's just gonna lighten up everything just a little bit. So it takes a minute to do it. So there you go. See how that makes it more white-ish and more realistic looking? Love it, love it. And it looks like a real apple. All right, so the color lifter is like the number one thing. If you get Stampin' Blends, you gotta get these. And then I'm just gonna take a teeny weeny bit of the Granny Apple. This is the Granny Apple dark one again. And just put a teensy weensy bit of that in there. And then blend it out a little bit with the light one. That's the light one, yeah. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the, this one, the Light Flirty Flamingo again, and I'm just gonna add some more color in the middle of it. Not that you need it really, because I'm gonna put a rhinestone, I mean, uh, yeah, gem right there, like one of the rhinestones. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do was, let's see, oh. When I had this one, I'm just gonna color in that just a little bit darker and make it look like seeds, real seeds, instead of white. 
All right, so then that's the coloring. So then what I did was I just put it in the die cutting machine and this is the die and I always have some post-it tape which is also in the description box below the video. So I popped it out. And so I can use that one again on another card. So those are all the Stampin' Blends that you need. Oops. And then I took the Wink of Stella and I colored this whole part and made it shimmery. And then I also colored these flowers in. So they're nice and sparkly. And then I left the rest of it just the same, but. All right, so now we're gonna put it together. So we've got these two go together and I'm gonna use my green glue and then read some comments because I know I'm way, way, way behind on those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not do a joke. I didn't have time to get a joke. Sorry. Let me see. Let me go back to Wobblers. I think that's where I left off. Um, let's see. Get that net. Yep. I know I got them. <laughs> I got the fly after the video last time too. Remember I had that fly? I caught him right after the video. Um, okay, now somebody's talking about the royal family. I saw a little bit of that on Facebook today. I saw Harry showed up with Megan and I guess the brothers, I don't know if they talk to each other or not. I don't know. Um, let's see. <laughs> Lisa traded the fly for him. Then she had a fly. <laughs> no, Fly's dead and this gnat's dead. I was out there mowing the grass today and these little gnats were driving me crazy. They like just fly all around your face and stuff. Um, let's see, did my guy worker come back to work? Um, no, he did not. And I'm really upset because he's supposed to work tomorrow and I'm really worried that he's going to call again tomorrow and say that he's sick. So, um, that's, I'm stressing out about that. So if he doesn't show up tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't have enough time in my day to cover all of his shifts for the next three weeks. So hopefully he'll show up. I don't know. Um, What about a pick of your hair? I know I was going to do that, but you know, I mowed the grass and worked in the yard. Then I took a shower and uh, I'm in my pajamas. I have no makeup on. My hair is just like, I put some argon oil in it just to moisturize it and kind of shook it out and that's what it's looking like right now I didn't fix it or anything so you're just gonna have to wait for a day when I'm actually dressed and have some clothes on and fix my hair and put some makeup on because I'm not gonna show you what I look like right now because you'd be like oh god <laughs> you'd be like oh no Lisa you look really bad <laughs> I look like I just crawled out of bed or something all right, this is gonna go on with dimensionals. Whoops. And we also need those. All right, so we're gonna put these all over. I learned how to tie a bow today too. I watched um, a video. It just was kind of like popped up in my feed when I was looking for an idea and the girl was tying a bow with her hands and I was like, oh my God, I wanna learn how to do that. So I sat and watched it like for I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes over and over until I figured out how to do it. So I wanted to be able to do it on this card, but this card really didn't need a big bow. So I didn't. All right. So we've got a bunch of those. Let me glue this down real quick too. This just goes flat with the green glue. I was out when I was out in the um, yard, my neighbors next door, for some reason, they don't mow their grass ever hardly. So this is going to go in the top corner. So it's probably been like a month since they mowed the grass. And we have this like um, flower bed that goes from the street all the way up to almost where their fence is. And this is the ones who built the fence that the guys came over and hooked up the electric stuff to my um, house that I was really upset about. But I mean, the neighbors are pretty nice, but they don't really come out very much. But anyway there's this big flower bed and on my side of the flower bed 
it's beautiful. I have all these flowers and mulch, and it looks really pretty. On their side of the flower bed, it's it's not poison ivy. It's um, just ivy. So it's kind of starting to come over into my side of the flower bed. And I'm like, okay, we're going to take care of this. So <laughs> I went, when I was mowing the grass, I went over on their side and mowed about two or three feet of that ivy out because it's all going into their yard and it's coming over into my flower bed. So then I went in my side of the yard and I just took the clippers and just clipped it all back. And um, it looks so much better. So I don't think they'll care because they don't really do much with their yard, but it was driving me crazy because it was just starting to go everywhere. And that ivy, you know, once it gets going, it's like it takes over. So it's hard to get rid of it once it gets those really thick roots. I'm just going to curl this up just a little bit because the center, it's bigger than the center of my flower. All right, we're just going to put this down at the bottom. I just thought it needed something there, just a little something, something. All right, so then we're going to put a few little gems on here. And these are the iridescent um, rhinestones, I think that's what they're called. So, oops, I dropped my, take your pick tool, hold on. Okay, I got it. I found it. So, let's get our sticky end and pick up a gem or two. So, we're going to put one, whoops, right here. Ah, it's not coming off. There we go. Right there. I don't know what's going on with my stickiness right here. All right, and then we're gonna put one on this one. And then we're gonna get one more for good measure and put that over here. All right, so we've got three rhinestones. Then we need some ribbon. So I've got my um, linen thread and we're just gonna make a double bow. So I always do just a practice bow is about that much and double it. And there you go. So then cut that in half. Oops. And then we're just going to tie a double bow. This is probably way too much. Somebody made a comment the other day in my comment section. And they said that I'd leave my tails too long on my bows. And I, I was like, well, I like long tails, but I did cut this one shorter because it kind of was hiding the apple a little bit. So, see, I like them when they're like long like that. I don't know, what do you guys think? You like the long tails or the short tails? We're gonna put that on with a dimension, I mean a glue dot right up here. See, I think it looks cute with those tails like that, but what do you guys think? You like the short tails or the long? I think probably for this one, it needs to be shorter. We'll cut it. I like them all curly like that. There we go. All right, and then we need some shimmer spray. So let me get my scrap paper out and we'll do a little squirt of shimmer. And then we're done. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so there we go. That's gonna take a second to dry. So what do you think? This is the dry one. This is the wet one. But pretty easy card, and I love the pink and the green together. I think it's so pretty. All right, everybody says short, long and short tail. Everybody says short, okay. <laughs> it's your birthday, Debbie. You, got, you have a, a right to do whatever you want. You can talk all you want. Um... Yeah, I've tried spraying the ivy, but uh, then it looks gross. It turns it all brown, and it's still there, so you still got to pull it up. So it's easier just to take the clippers and just kind of cut it back. Thanks, you guys. I'm so glad you like this card. Oh, we have one person for long tail. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. I'm so glad you like it. And thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Saturday night. 
I'm going to have to go back and read all these comments. You guys have been talking, talking, talking. Yeah, it's King Charles now. Yep. Yeah. And then Prince William would be the next one. Yep. Yeah. I think that'd be so cool to be like, uh, live in a royal family. I think that'd be so fun. I always love those, um, Hallmark movies, you know, where they, uh, meet a prince and they get to go live in a castle and I just think that would be so fun. And then you don't have to cook or clean and somebody would do all the work for you and you don't have to work. I mean, you just got to go out and like socialize with people and do things like that. But can I do the bows with my, I'm going to show you how to do the, the bow with my fingers on maybe the next video because it didn't really go with this card. So, um, but it's super easy. That's what was so cool because I've always wanted to learn how to do that because there's this demonstrator, Tammy Wilson, and all of her bows are absolutely gorgeous. And I've always wanted to know how to do bows like that. So now I know I can do them. All right, so I hope you liked that. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back on Tuesday night, hopefully, unless uh, my guy at work calls in and I got to go work or something. But hopefully I won't have to. Oh, living in a royal family is far from fun. Everybody's always watching you and judging you. Yeah, you're probably right. Maybe if I was just like in a royal family of some little teeny country that you know, nobody heard of, you know, like on the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> Am I scared? <laughs> Queen Lisa. <laughs> you love finger bows. <laughs> you're so funny. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be like the Queen of England. I would just want to be like the Queen or the Princess of some, you know, little teeny island somewhere where there's not a whole bunch of people. I don't have to do much of anything <laughs> except just relax all day. I could stamp all day. <laughs> Actually, I just need to be rich so I can have some, like, a, a maid and a, a cook and, and just do whatever I want all day. I just need a rich man. <laughs> That'd be easier, probably. All right, you guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll be sending you guys lots of hugs. And happy birthday, Miss Debbie Spicer. I hope you have a great weekend and enjoy your birthday. Eat some cake for me because I can't have any. And I will be back soon. See you later.